Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today is going to be the greatest day of your life. Today I'd like to talk about time management, as if we could manage or manipulate our most precious commodity, right? I mean, regardless of how you look at your stay here on earth, you must admit that life is short, and you and I have the potential to make anything out of our lives that we so choose. But we all get the same amount of time every day. We get all there is. You see, the man who sleeps on a park bench gets the same 24 hours in his day as the billionaire. It's just how they utilize their precious commodity that indicates the results that they get in their life. Now, listen closely. To waste any of that precious commodity we refer to as time is a disgusting thought in my mind. I gotta tell you, it bothers me a lot. Unless I'm extremely tired, I even resent the time I spend unconscious each night, or I should say most nights, because I'm not suggesting that you stay up all night or do anything to jeopardize your health. Remember, sleep is very important. But listen closely, because if you haven't figured this out yet, what I'm about to say will hopefully shock you into a more exciting way of life. You know, will you do better than average? You know, the average person spends four hours each day in front of their television screen. That adds up to ten and a half years between the ages of two and 65. That's a lot of programming, right? You know, and then add to that 21 years that same average person spends sleeping, you know, which is eight hours a night is what it works out to. And guess what? You will realize that exactly one half of the 63 years I referred to is spent either totally unconscious or in front of a vacuum tube creating a head to to match, right? And we don't use vacuum tubes anymore, but the digital format that's utilized to spread the appropriate programming that's disseminated to human beings by whoever is, um, is something that you're absorbing and you're using and wasting a lot of your time, in my opinion, sitting in front of the television set. I mean, think about that. 31 and a half years, either in front of a TV or sleeping. You know, sleeping's good for us, don't get us wrong, but we could cut that in half if we just get out from behind the damn TV. You know what I mean? It's not an indictment against TV, you know, but I believe it's completely ridiculous. If you simply cut back two hours a day of watching TV, you could add 30 24 hour days to each year. Dude, did you hear what I just said? You could add 30 24-hour days to each year. Think about that. That's a lot of time. And I assure you that watching too much television isn't the only way you may be wasting your time, right? If you truly want to accomplish something in this life, let's talk about what you can do to either get a lot done in the short amount of time that you have or habit changes that we can do to make our lives more fulfilling and productive. But first, let's get clear on what we're really talking about here. It's all about managing our time, right? The term time management is a bit misleading in my opinion because it implies that time can actually be managed. You know, when I was reading an article in Psychology Today, they defined time management as the ability to plan and control how someone spends the hours in a day to effectively accomplish their goals. I like that definition because it shows us that it's not the time that we're managing, it's our activities, right? So it's the same for you and me. You know, I'm not sure if you've heard this phrase, but there are not enough hours in a day. And usually this phrase is used by someone who doesn't know how to manage their day correctly, right? You know, a lack of time is not the issue. It's all about how we prioritize the 24 hours we all get each and every day. And you know, some people get more accomplished in one day than others can accomplish in an entire month. And goals and dreams drive these success-oriented people. And we talk about strategies here on this channel. We talk about different behaviors that we can exhibit that will give us better results in those 24 hours. But you know, the thing is with success-oriented people, they want to go places in their life and they know they must manage their activities to get there. And fortunately, it's a life-changing skill that anyone can learn one day at a time. You know, managing your activities starts with a clear goal and proper planning. 
every night before you go to bed, write a to-do list for the next day. And you know, this won't be a list of chores where you're including doing laundry or emptying the trash. That's not what I'm talking about here. Remember, this is about prioritizing your time each day. You want to make sure you get all your important tasks written down and completed, especially tasks that will move you closer to achieving your goal. So every night ask yourself, what is one thing I could do tomorrow to move towards the achievement of my goal? Write down your answer and make it a top priority the next day. If time allows, think of additional goal activities you can take on the next day and put them on your to-do list. You know, with the most important task at the top, and that's the first thing you're going to tackle. And you start working on your list as soon as you wake up, tackling that highest priority item first, and then work down your list. And each time you complete a task, cross it off your list and forget about it and immediately focus on the next task. And while you're getting started with this, use a pen and paper to do your to-do list instead of a phone or an electronic device and feel the instant gratification of physically striking through a task. You know, also, keeping your to-do list on paper will help keep you motivated. You'll be able to see all your tasks you've completed over time and you can look at your list getting longer as you become more skilled in activity management. You know, practice this simple technique every day, and soon you'll notice that you can get more done in less time. You see, you'll be running the day instead of the day running you. And this will help us to stay motivated. You know, to stay motivated and keep yourself on track, we need to turn our goals into specific quarterly objectives, with the objective for each quarter being bigger than the previous one. Sounds like a corporate initiative, right? But we are our own corporation. We are the CEO. We are the employee. We are the administration for this, this here our own body, our own mind. We are the purveyor of those attributes that have been given to us as a part of this life. We want to make sure that we run this like a business, making this the best circumstance it can possibly be. Because you see, this business services the friends, the family, and the community that we hold dear in our hearts. And the better we can make this business, the more service we can provide to those things and people that are important to us. We want to take advantage of that. So think about that, you know. We're not only running this business, but we're trying to make it the best business it can possibly be. Now, I'll give you an example. If you wanted to earn a million dollars next year, your first quarter objective might be to earn an extra 100000 Then you might aim to earn an extra 200000 in the second quarter. 300,000 in the third, and 400,000 in the fourth quarter. You'll reach your goal or objective. And here's the deal. You can enjoy a richer and more fulfilling life. You know, we only have a limited time on this magnificent planet. And as you go through your days, don't get caught up in all the little things that everyone else wants you to do. Commit to doing things that are important to you. You're important. Make yourself a priority and say yes to you. Spend some time each day doing things to take care of your physical, your mental, your spiritual, and your financial well-being. And if you do those things, I'm telling you, I guarantee you, you won't look back and ask, where did the time go? You'll know it went to doing things that you enjoy, building your legacy and making your mark. I got to tell you, managing our time is simpler than you think. This is a very unique and, and simple strategy that I've given to you today that you can utilize to maximize the time and potential of every single day. Now, we've talked about other strategies as well and incorporate the ones we've discussed as it makes sense for you and your life. But run your own show. Make your own decisions. Live the life that you want to live. Make sure you put the good information up here that's going to help build you into the you that you want to be. Not the you that the news media or television tells you you should be or advertising is constantly telling you to change. 
be this, be that, buy our product. Remember, they're just trying to sell you something. They tell you there's something wrong with you, and then magically they have the solution they can sell you, and it'll fix the problem they just told you you had. That's a bunch of crap. Be yourself. Be unique. That's where your power is, and that's where the magic is. The magic of you. Being a unique individual where you can do the things you want to do, live the life you want to live, and be the best person that you can possibly be. And managing our day effectively is a great start walking down that road as we're attempting to achieve the goals that will transform our lives and make us into who we want to be. Friends, I care about you, I believe in you, and I know if anybody can do it, you can. It's within you. You have the power. You have everything you need right here to be the best you that you can be. And you know the nicest thing about it? It's 100% free of charge. That's right. Making changes is just changing, making decisions, right? Free of charge. Won't cost you a dime. You don't have to buy a program to be a better person. You don't have to go through a bunch of meetings and different things to be a better person. We can make the decision to manage our time, manage our abilities, and take on the day in the most effective and best way that we possibly can based on our personal circumstance. You are amazing. I will be back tomorrow with some really incredible stuff because I care about you. Have a great day. Take care. I'll be back tomorrow.